This is a simulation that will uh, demonstrate the abilities of Tinkercad with regard to our capstone project. So a quick overview of our system. What we are simulating here is a control station um, on a pallet conveyor system. So essentially what this will do, we'll use sensors that are uh, simulated and relay outputs to represent the progression of uh, a pallet through this conveyor system. Uh, this first Arduino here is uh, an Arduino that we will actually have on our project. Um, it will take in uh, sensor data output to the relays and also uh, send data back to a main computer. The second Arduino on the bottom uh, will act as sensor data for the first Arduino. So in our actual system, we don't have this second Arduino. But it's being used in the simulation uh, to provide basically sensor inputs to the first. Um, so the relay LEDs are the blue LEDs here. And essentially, whenever the Arduino tells a relay to activate, uh, the corresponding LED will light up. And the correct order is on the right, which you will see later when I actually run the simulation. Uh, now, there are two types of output LEDs. Uh, the green one is simply a detection flag, so that will activate when uh, the pallet arrives at the station. The four red LEDs represent four possible errors that can happen. Uh, these are actually controlled by switches within the simulation, but if an error happens, then the corresponding LED will light up and the system will freeze. Uh, there are three sets of switches. So the switch with the red arrow uh, is simply the power button, which allows everything to turn on and off. The switch with the orange arrow uh, is a hold signal. So when that is turned on, uh, the station will hold a pallet that has come in. And additionally, when it's turned back off, it will release a pallet. So normally this would be um, controlled via uh, like the main computer but for the sake of this simulation uh, it's done manually and finally uh, the yellow arrow that uh, group of switches are the error signals so if they are all high then or logic high then there will be no errors in the simulation but depending on which ones are turned down uh, certain errors will happen so now on to the simulation um, as you can see each of the individual Arduinos are programmable. Now if I hit start simulation, and the power button. And now as you can see down here, I have all of the error switches set high, so no error should happen. And I'm going to activate the hold signal. You can now see the progression of the both the um, relay LEDs and the detection LED up here. Now to continue um, and basically release the virtual pallet, I'm going to have to turn this switch back down. As you can see, the relay LEDs will turn back off as the pallet is released, and then it'll reset uh, to the next position where it's simply waiting for a pallet. such and now so that last run through uh, had no errors now for this one I'm going to turn on and I'm going to uh, flick one of the error switches so this time around uh, an LED should light up and the system should freeze regression starts and as you can see the error LED has turned on and everything has stopped uh, and finally, one last thing to demonstrate, this is in a separate simulation. Um, Tinkercad is also capable of um, simulating serial connection between two Arduinos. So this is rather simple. All that's happening here is that the switches on one Arduino are controlling the LEDs on the other and vice versa. So if I start it, I hit the switch to turn everything on. And now, as you can see, hitting switches up here correspond to LEDs down here, turning off. And similarly, hitting these switches down here, 
affect the LEDs up here. I can also turn them back on as such. And this uh, serial communication is simply being done between these two lines here.